Today, I'm going to show you how we can find out how much energy is in food. So I've got a bit of pasta and I'm basically going to burn it, react it with oxygen, release the energy. But to find out how much, we need to set things up like this. I've got a measured amount of water in there. There's 10 millilitres of water. There's a thermometer and the thermometer is reading roughly 20 degrees. Now, what I can do is I can burn the pasta underneath it. We'll see how much heat is released. It will rise because it's hot, hot air rises like a convection current. And should we just get on with it? Let's do it. Right, I'm blasting it. Now it'll take a little while to make a lot of smoke and probably a good job you're not here because it's a bit horrible. And, but we can get it going. Come on now, you can do this thing. It takes a little while to get it going. Right, but it is now just about burning. If I burn it underneath, it's smoky. Now this is not a perfectly, perfectly brilliant experiment because you can see a lot of stuff's escaping out the side and not all of it's hitting the water. But on the other hand, a lot of it is hitting the water. And there's a lot of energy in a bit of pasta, which is why people, like athletes, eat lots of pasta. Carbohydrates give you energy, make you run. You can see it's all a bit disgusting, isn't it? Because you can see smoke and the bottom of this is starting to go black. But hopefully we're seeing, as well as the yucky smoke and stuff, we can also see that the temperature has risen. The temperature should be rising and rising. Let's see, what have we got? Well, quite a lot actually. That's 50 degrees. We've just pushed that temperature of this water up by 30 degrees from 20 up to 50. And, and you can do a calculation on that. You can work out how much energy has been actually released by this manky piece of pasta. Right, I'm gonna show you this custard powder. I'm gonna show you it's full of energy, just like the pasta. It'll burn even better than the pasta. Let's go for it. That's a bit rubbish. Didn't do anything. I wonder what we can do to make it go better. I'm going to put it into this funnel here. What we need to do is we need to get more air around it. Things don't burn unless they've got oxygen. So let's give it some oxygen. I'm going to put it in there. Now this is attached to a pump. And the pump goes like this. So we can blow it up. And the powder just goes up, it's almost like a gas, and it'll be surrounded by air. So we just need a light. Okay, so I've got a light, I've got fuel, I can get oxygen into it, all good. Let's see how this looks. Let's see if I can get that any better, give me one sec. Right, just a quick adjustment. Let's see what we've got here. Right, there we go. Cluster powder, full of energy. As soon as surround it with oxygen, give it heat, you've got the full fire triangle. Heat, fuel, oxygen. Last one. There we go. 